Hi, my name is Benjamin Fele, and I am one of the authors of the paper CVTone, Context-Driven Image-Based Virtual Trial Network. As the title suggests, we address the problem of virtual trial, which resulted in the method that takes an image of a person and dresses them up with a desirable garment. Due to advancements in computer vision and generative neural networks, the field has seen considerable progress in recent years. Modern methods rely on multiple innovations like multi-stage pipelines, knowledge distillation and use of auxiliary input data like post key points and clothing segmentations. While each of these approaches improve image quality, we find that they still have their problems. For example, when poor auxiliary information is fed to the model, the garment transfer may occur on wrong body parts, or when knowledge distillation is used, it may still inherit some of the initial shortcomings of the teacher model. Current approaches struggle particularly with body and arm synthesis in difficult poses, which is one of the objectives that we aimed to resolve in this work. To do that, we propose a two-stage virtual trial architecture consisting of geometric matching phase and the virtual trial synthesis phase. Let's first look at the body part geometric matcher. Its purpose is to generate a garment warped according to the person's pose in the original image. The main idea behind our architecture that you can see in the figure on the right entails the simplification of inputs compared to other words utilizing a similarly intended module. The module only requires the target clothing and human body segmentation to reliably warp the garment without producing artifacts. The quality of warping is also in part due to our matching technique, which is enforced by multiple losses. We put a big emphasis on conditioning the warping procedure on the body instead of the whole garment. This is accomplished by using a L1 and VGG losses aimed at preserving the textures and logotypes as well as possible. An additional L1 loss between masks of the warped and original clothing is used to enforce reliable transformation of the target garment. Reliable warping is a prerequisite for high-quality image synthesis in our model. However, the quality of results would not be possible without our novel context-aware generator, which, as the name suggests, accepts inputs that we call context and produces final virtual trial image. Its core strength is the utilization of multiple inputs, an original input image, warped and non-warped target garments, and the body segmentation map. We also use multiple losses, each tailored to ensure realistic generation of a specific aspect of the final image. A segmentation discriminator loss that ensures body parts are rendered correctly, a matching discriminator loss which ensures that the garment on the generated image matches the target one, and a patch discriminator loss that furthers the realistic generation of neck area and arms. In addition, we also use a perceptual loss to generate images similar to the original. We introduce context-aware normalization, inspired by SPADE, which accepts our inputs and normalizes activations before every convolutional layer. This ensures that the information is propagated efficiently through the generator. We conduct our experiments on two datasets, VTone and MPV, and compare our approach to five other methods altogether. The comparison on the right presents some instances when our model generates hands and on-garment textures more realistically compared to other methods. Our approach is reliable for generating images of people in basic or difficult poses and with or without on-garment textures. Additionally, our method also allows for virtual trial generation with varying poses and target garments. This also shows with quantitative FID and LPIPS measures used to evaluate our work. With both, we achieve a major improvement in the final score. While this short presentation aims to provide an overview of the paper, there is still a lot left out to accommodate the presentation format, like results on a high-resolution Vuitton dataset, ablation studies, and study of weaknesses and limitations. With the time we've had, We've outlined our approach to virtual try-on, showcased some results, and would like to direct the listener to read the paper for more information. Thank you for your attention.